Is topicalization of subjects the only problem? No, Chinese learners of English also topicalize objects of sentences. They produce sentences in which objects are topicalized. The problems are similar to those created by subject topicalization. Look at this sentence, for example. Concerning internships, job seekers find them practical. Again, the way to correct these sentences is to remove redundant words and phrases. So what's redundant here? Which words are extra? Mm, concerning and... Them, because this word refers to internships. Oh yes, so the sentence should be job seekers find internships practical. Well done, Coco. Let's have a look at another one. As for salaries, graduates find them low. That should be... Graduates find salaries low. That's fine. And this one, for graduates, it is difficult for them to get a job. Mm. It is difficult for graduates to get a job. Very good. Are there any other ways to write this sentence? Maybe use graduates as a subject. Um, how about this? Graduates is difficult to get a job. No, that's very Chinese. Graduates are not difficult. Well, most of mine aren't. Getting a job is difficult. So we need a verb to go with graduates? Yes, we can use the verb find. Oh, right. Graduates find difficult to get a job. Not quite. You need to put something between find and difficult. Mm. Graduates find it difficult to get a job. Great. Let's find another sentence with the same problem. Students are hard to gain workplace experience. Are students hard? Of course not. Uh, gaining workplace experience is hard. So you can write. Um, students find it hard to gain workplace experience. Good work. I think I understand now. Well, here are some sentences that look different from the ones we've been looking at, but they have the same problem of topicalization. This time there is, or there are, has been used to introduce a topic of a sentence in the front position. For example, there are many employers look for good communication skills. That's Chinglish. You have two main verbs, are and look. Employers is the subject, so look is the main verb. But it's easy to correct these sentences too. By removing unnecessary words. Of course, yes. Do that now. Um. Many employers look for good communication skills. Great. Let me see if I've made any similar mistakes. Yes, here's another sentence. There are many experts predict e-business will grow. I can change that to Many experts predict e-business will grow. Very good. You could also keep there are, but change the rest of the sentence. Want to try? Change the second verb into a gerund. There are many experts predicting e-business will grow. Yep. Now write a relative close after experts. Um, there are many experts who predict e-business will grow. Excellent.
So let me change this one. There are many jobs who require good communication skills. Go ahead, three versions. Okay, so first, remove there are. Many jobs require good communication skills. Mm -hmm. Second, change the second verb into a gerund. There are many jobs requiring good communication skills. Yep. And third, write a relative clause. I can't write who this time. I can write that. Um, there are many jobs that require good communication skills. Great sentences, Coco. I think you're getting the hang of this now. Thank you very much for helping me, Peter. This is very useful. You're welcome.